Well, Justin and many Suncoast drivers are looking forward to the end of the school year, which happens just after the end of tourist season. And the reason for the excitement, as SNN's John Woodruff tells us tonight, it's the end of all those traffic troubles. A decrease in tourist traffic doesn't mean wide open roads for Suncoast drivers. At least not yet. They still have to contend with buses and parents taking kids to and from school. If I'm coming, like when school is out, if I'm going south, then it's a little bit crazy. While most schools start well before the typical 9 to 5 job, they seem to be creating a miniature rush hour of their own. Our SNN cameras were out on the roads last Friday when kids had the day off and on the same routes Monday and Tuesday. The difference in congestion and traffic flow was noticeable on nearly every route. You have parents who, are, who take their kids to school and pick them up who are not using the, the bus system. Um, so you have those parents who are not on the road. And the likely culprit? 15 mile per hour school zones. Well, going 15 miles an hour down 41 definitely slows things down. It takes me 20 minutes, 25 minutes to get there with traffic around 2 p.m. And if I go a different way, it can take me 10 minutes. So if you've been feeling a little bogged down on your morning commute, maybe tomorrow you might want to try a route that has a few less of these. Reporting in Sarasota, John Woodruff, SNN. Now, in case you're keeping track, the end of the school year is almost here. The last day of school in Sarasota County is June 2nd, something that should make drivers and maybe even some co a couple of uh, students who go there very happy.